Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. More big news coming out of the LEC. Finally, Hillisang has a new home after uh, recent rumors that I guess Rux is going to be the new starting support for Fnatic. I don't know if that has even been 100% uh, confirmed or not yet, but we do now know that Hillisang is likely on his way out uh, and headed to Mad Lions. Alejandro Gomez tweets out, Hillisang reaches a verbal agreement with Mad Lions. He will be the support of the European team. Uh, and I don't think Mad Lions lineup is totally locked in place just yet. It seems like um, they will have El Yoya in the jungle. It seems like they will have Niski in the mid lane. The bot lane is going to be Karzi and Hillisang. The top lane is maybe still a little bit iffy. I don't know if we know for sure that Arma is going to be returning next year, but as far as this uh, and what Mad Lions did consider in the support position, we get, uh, you know, Hillisang has reached a verbal agreement with Mad Lions. Mad Lions also explored other options such as reckless support, Targamas and Cam Camilius. I don't know exactly how you say that, but it's an ERL player. So they did consider a couple of different options. Actually, very, very interesting and funny to see, you know, they're potentially deciding between Hillisang and Reckless both potentially being the support. Obviously, Targamas to Mad Lions could have potentially been a very, very fun and very interesting as well. Um, at the end of the day, Hillisang to Mad is kind of interesting. I think Mad Lions is going to be a pretty strong team overall. Obviously, um, if you have El Yoya, you're going to usually be at least a pretty good team. You have Karzi returning home. Like, I I don't know. I, I think really this Mad Lions team is ending up kind of mid to me. Like, Hillisang wasn't insane last year. Niski, uh, you know, he ends up winning MVP, but like down the stretch wasn't that insane. Karzi wasn't that good last year. Like, this team could be really, really good, maybe, but I just see a lot of situations where overall this Mad Lions roster doesn't really impress me that much, especially if they come back with Armut in the top lane. Now, maybe they go get some crazy top laner that I don't even know who they're about to get or whatever. Um, but this does just seem kind of strange and kind of weird. It's also going to be really, really weird seeing Hillisang not in a Fnatic jersey after he's been with the team for so long. I believe it says how long he's been with the team. Uh, after almost four years of competing with Fnatic, uh, or after four years of competing with, what, Unicorns of Love, and then uh, Hillisang has been almost five years in the European team, so five years with Fnatic? I mean, I mean, that is just super, super, super crazy. It's going to be weird to see him. It's going to be interesting to see how Fnatic does without him, how he does without Fnatic. Um... But yeah, Hillisang's got a new home, headed to Mad Lions, pair up with Karzi in the bot lane. I think there's definitely some questions about what the Karzi Hillisang bot lane duo is going to look like and just how strong they're going to be overall, what kind of synergy they're going to have, what kind of play style they're going to have. Uh, but definitely two players with a lot to prove, uh, as is really the whole Mad Lions team at this point in time. So we'll have to see how they do next year. I don't know. Kind of an interesting story. Hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. Peace.